dead set my favourite track in all of Australia. Oh my god, this thing is an animal! Go to the Kev track, they said. It'd be great, they said. It's a very cool track, they said. The rain now is just going to make it slippery as hell. Friggin' slippery. Holy shit. Here he goes. You got this, Maxi. Yeah. <laughs> See that? You're an animal, mate. You're an animal. Oh man, this thing is wild. Hey Jace, there's a little bridge down here, a little timber bridge, and then it looks like uh, there's a muddy hill on the other side. Straight up, first thing in the morning, tackle a muddy hill. Oh, I didn't expect that. I was thinking maybe just like a bitumen highway. Radio fellas, you ready to start this day off with a bang? Go. No banging, just drive up the hill. Let's get the hell out of here. Copy that. There you go, mate. We'll stay here. Go the big Chevy. He's driving like he stole it, mate. I know. <laughs> like if someone came around for a test drive and they took off like that, you'd know they're stealing it. 100%. Righty, the actual steep bit's got a lot of rock on it, so you've got traction there, but a bit of mud on top. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. There you go. Oh, it's muddy down here, but. Oh, it's a muddy fest. Yeah, away you go, Simon. She's all good. Sweet. It's a muddy fest pit. What are you trying? Hell, D Max, mate, won't even know that that's even somewhere that's off road. Looks like the bush is changing a bit where I am. It's sort of drying out to the eucalyptus woodland sort of forest. So. Yeah, I think um, we might be uh, getting close to the last big super hill. Yeah, I think so. It was definitely bad last time we were here. Yeah, we only had two-wheel drive at that point. But... Yes, that was very bad that day when we heard the big bang. And mine was front-wheel drive up a hill. All bad. Yeah, absolute. That was like a gunshot, wasn't it? Meow. You didn't just break something, did you? My tar shaft is on the ground. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm just, I've just blown the uni joint on this tar shaft now. This is all bad. Oh, no kidding. What do you got there, mate? Looks like another little creek. Just for something different, not a creek. All muddy. Looks like we've had a bit of, bit of rainwater, a bit of flood water come through here, so it's a bit more turned up by the looks of it. Oh, okay. Nice creek nonetheless. Be good once it, once it all calms down and turns clear. Not take much rain in the rainforest to get the creek cranking, does it? No, it doesn't take much at all. Imagine if you're in here, <clears throat> you got stuck in here like we did, but you imagine if it was torrential all night, you quite possibly wouldn't be getting out of here this morning. Yeah, torrential would be all bad. Yeah, yeah, this could be like over your roof. Well, so far so good, we're moving forward. I think we're good. Well, fellas, it's the same scenario. When we cross a creek, there seems to be an uphill section. What do you got in front of you there, mate? I can't really see. Yeah, look, it's wrapping around the corner a bit, but it's looking muddy, and it's looking like it's going up. Oh, no. Anyway, I'll be the guinea pig. I'll just go for it. See you at the top. Hopefully, see you at the top. I can hear him. He's got a rumble about her. He's a rumble. 
rumble in the jungle. <laughs> that never gets old. This truck is pretty awesome. I, I assume you made it there, Jesse. Yeah, I made it. You just got to, um, yeah, just give it the berries, eh? All right, I'm coming up. Where you go? Easy sideways and in the bush off the bat. He's up, he's up, he made it. So much fun going up there. And that's where, uh, this is, that's where Simon blew his diff. Is that right? Oh, is it that little tight hook around one? Josh, you got a copy? Yeah, mate, what's happened? Oh, I've just done a tail shaft, I reckon, mate, or something. We're in heaps of trouble with big time. You're in drive? Yeah, drive forward. Jesus, that's the rear diff. That's the rear diff, that was coming out of the rear diff. You gotta take the tail shaft off and work with the front drive. Dude. That's exactly it. Just reverse back so that you, so it's not locked. Just pop it in reverse, take the load off. Let's not repeat that today, Simon. <laughs> That was good fun, that hill, hey Jace? Yeah, it's the one. Right here on that little rocky shelf, it went bang. That's it, all right. I remember winching off that power pole. <laughs> that's it. Well, you know it's ahead of us, don't you? Yeah, another hill and that's it. One big hill left. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna make it out of here. That's awesome. Just when you feel like it's all going good, the camera car now gets in on the action. You smacked that real hard. No, no, you like, that was like a impact. You can see it, you've smacked it hard. Yeah, back into that little thing there. The camera car is in the lead at the moment, so we will need to fix it to continue. Nice and steady. This is where you blew it coming out. Do we want to run him up onto a stick or something? Bring him back a bit more. Back, straight. Slowly. Just try and pop it up onto that log and then stop up on the log. You have to drive it, drive it. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, more, more. Stop, stop. There. We head back to our trucks for tools. Come down with your Shep. Ah! Yeah, there's where the rim was gone, Bring look. It has gone from way down here. Yeah, yeah, that's where it went. Might have to get the shovel and dig a bit of a hole. Yeah, we can get that out. And you'll get a tyre on. You reckon? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Quickly grab that tyre. David's shock absorber's not even on. What? Yeah, he's torn that off too. What? Fucking hell, how'd you not notice that, Dave? Dave. Dave. Yeah, the shock absorber's gone. Yeah, it's off. Must have been making a racket. Dave. <laughs> Sorry. So aim for Jace now. You don't want to go too far over to your left. Traction. Yeah, traction to burn now, doggy. And D-Max has got some mumbo, that one. Hey, oh, he's got some grunt. You'd be better off staying in the wheel ruts the whole way and just not being stupid when you're driving. And probably just back off on that. Yeah, because there's heaps, there's heaps of rock in the rut. <laughs> oh, man, down. Oh, he's going in. This is the last hill, mate. Don't bugger it up. Ha. No, it's not the last one. There's another one. But wait, there's right. more. Go. Don't run over Jason. All yours, mate. Copy, coming through. Easy, throw 
some mud out. See that? You're an animal, mate. You're an animal. See that? <laughs> oh, man, this thing is wild. This track See is wild. See that? Yeah, that was nuts. That was awesome. He was barely moving in here. Yeah. And then he just, he just. Did you see me pinballing up that track then? Mate, you fishtailed the whole way up there. Nice job. Yeah, he just, then he just stomped the berries, <laughs> mate. And then she just, wah, bah, 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 brrr. There's 3,000 kilometers worth of rubber just here, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nuts. There's still one more big hill. One more hill? Yeah, that's the one. I know it. I remember it now. Big time. Yeah, it goes this way. Yeah, it does like a little yeah. curve and up, and it follows the power lines. The power lines go straight ahead. Goes under it. All right. All right. I'm next. You're next. I gotta walk back down this hill again. Slide down this hill. <laughs> Don't grab the waiter walls on the way down. They hurt. All right. Up here, and then it's the big hill. That's last. Here comes the other, the other guy. All right, I'm coming. Here he comes. All right, I'm getting out of the way. All right, mate. I'm going to stay in the ruts for this one. Hold the traction, but not go too hardcore. You pop a tyre. That's it, traction. There we go. <laughs> yeah. You smoked it. You're nearly in the embankment as well. That's fun. I actually feel like we had a lot of traction on that song. Yeah, yeah, it looked like it. All right, I'm going to go get my truck. All right, I'm coming up. It is. <laughs> Here he goes. Yeah. He's up the first bit. Here he goes. You got this, Maxi. Oh, he's falling out of track. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy bastard. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> but that's what's coming. Yep. All right. Yeah. You got traction now, eh? Mm. I didn't need to go that far. It's so bulk I'm, traction now. Heaps of traction yeah. yeah. It's got grip because it takes the as soon as the water shines off it, yeah. it's yeah. getting tacky. It gets tacky. So clay can be your friend sometimes. Sometimes. A drifty friend. <laughs> just enough little loamy. There's a bit of loamy to see. See that you were it. you were like drifting, mate. You were like was, a drift yeah, car. It was, like, yeah, was awesome. <laughs> did, did a big Marley, that's what they call them. Marley. Yeah. Do a big Marley. Never heard of that. <laughs> no. We're up. Next one, last okay. one. Let's do it. Still some more hills to climb. All right, Jay. This is the last hill, Simon. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it, it looked a hell of a lot worse when uh, we were here last time, but for some reason it doesn't look that bad. No, it's just we had broken cars. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Anyway. We are up the last hill. Yeah, I'm just creeping my way up. Still got a fair bit of traction. This rain hasn't kicked in too much just yet. It's looking pretty good. We made it, boys. Well, the last, last gnarly hill. This one doesn't even care. <laughs> no, it doesn't, does it? Nope. And I think I'm on top of the hill now, fellas. Top of the hill, mate. Looking that way. We actually did really well because, you know, in my head, anyone who goes in the crab track when it's wet, you get stuck in there and you're done. We actually got through. It was wet the whole, the whole trip. Yeah, you, you're a bit of doom and gloom there, Simon, there at some stage. Like, you're real doom and gloom for us. Yeah, I've seen so many people get stuck in there and heard stories, you know, and been through it on the dirt bike when it's been wet, thinking, how the hell would you ever get a car through here in the wet? But the traction we've been getting out of these trucks, I've been really surprised. Yeah, it's nuts, eh? Yeah, I've heard all the stories that you heard as well, like people getting, you know, food chopped in and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I got like a, a page that I follow and consistently guys getting stuck in here in the wet. Should be these new tyres we got, mate. Impressive tyres. I reckon impressive tyres and impressive cars, mate. I reckon 
all the all three cars performed well in there. All right, looks like there's a slippy slide down here, fellas. What's going on up there, mate? Uh, it looks like a pretty steep descent. I sort of got that hunch that it might get a bit slippy going downhill again. I want to come and watch. Just got a shower of rain too. Yeah, it's probably all bad, really. Mm. I'm just gonna go for it, lads, and I'll tell you what it's like when I'm at the bottom. Copy that. Oh, it's steep. Steep as. Not bad. Deep head. <laughs> Dave, got it. Oh no! <laughs> Shit. You did the right thing, bud. Yeah, yeah. You did the right thing, mate. Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> no. No. Uh, right, Jess. Man down! Jesse, are you alright? Jesse! Hey, Jesse! Jesse, you're right. Jesse, you there, Jesse. mate? Jesse. Hey, g'day, guys. Sorry to interrupt your video, but I just wanted to show you the new 270 standard from Camp Boss 4x4. Check this thing out, mate. It's an awesome bit of kit. If you want to get out from under the sun, okay, out in the Australian outback, then you need one of these things. It's got full A-frame arms, easy to set up. It's got 280 GSM ripstop poly cotton. The bag itself is a heavy duty, 1000 GSM with a heavy duty zip. And it's got this awesome little ratchet to tension it up, mate. It's the best awning that you're gonna see on the market. Full A-frame arms, self-supporting. Anyway, guys, back to the video. I'm just gonna go for it, lads, and I'll tell you what it's like when I'm at the bottom. Copy that. Oh, it's steep, steep as. Oh no! Shit. You did the right thing, bud. Yeah, you did the right thing, mate. Oh, oh, oh! Right, Jess! Man down! Jesse, are you alright? Jesse! Hey, Jesse! Jesse, you alright? Jesse, you there, mate? Jesse, are you alright? Jesse! Yeah, I'm alright. Holy shit, airbags and everything. Did the airbag get you? Yeah, it all went on. Holy shit. Oh, mate, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Good, good. You all right? Say, so I'm sorry, mate. That's... <laughs> that, that, that had no control. Holy shit. You all right, mate? Yeah, yeah, I'm just... I feel really bad for Jace <laughs> right now. Jeez, that was really heavy, eh? <laughs> I tried everything in my power, like, tried to... You all right? Yeah, I'm all good. I just, I just wrote your car off, mate. <laughs> Look the side airbags went off. God damn, I'm just processing what's just happened, because it happened real quick. We saw, yeah. we, we, we saw the whole thing. We watched it. I was going down, like, I didn't touch the brakes. I was gripping in, gripping in. As soon as I lost traction, uh, it just took off like a... Yeah. The big heavy car shoved you fully sideways, I saw it. Yeah. Yeah, he's hit that embankment yeah. and then just... I actually thought I might have pulled it back together then, but as soon as I went too far from that embankment, it just spat me over quicker than I could even blink. This is bad. This is proper. Holy shit. It's been too long upside down, you're not going to start it. We're just lucky that the battery's not shorting out and there's not fuel pissing out everywhere. Yeah. Very lucky. Don't stress too much, mate. You're all right. That's all that really matters. Oh, I'm all right. I just, just wrote me <laughs> mate's truck off. <laughs> a truck that I could never even dream of paying for. <laughs> Honestly, that was out of my control. Oh, man. yeah, we saw that. We were no... watching. We came down. Well, Jason and I ran down. Yeah, we watch. were watching. I tried a few tactics going down there, yeah. took your advice and this and that, but as soon as I broke traction, this thing is heavy and it just took off. Now, you've been doing this gig long enough now to know not to listen to me, <laughs> haven't you? No, I actually started off all right. You <laughs> yeah, seen you it. You did, you pulled out of that first run real good. But yeah, I mean, all the excuses in the world, it's on its back now. 
I'm going to get the camera truck, mate. We need to get this thing right. We need yeah. to get it right. You can turn almost. around, come up forward. Yeah, as soon as I, as soon as I broke traction, I just I was in for a ride, and I was just I was hoping I'd catch on one of these banks, but this thing is so heavy. I went up on the bank, and because it's so heavy, it just rolled really violently. Smashed my head a little bit in there, and then yeah, it's just all bad, bad, bad. As bad as it gets. But you're all right, mate. That's the main thing. So the camera truck, which was in front, is our only hope to get the Chevy over. It's too dangerous to bring another truck down. Are you going to try and get this thing going and drive it or tow it? Let's just get it on its wheels first, that's the start. Because at the moment, you can't even get past. Because no, I'm thinking if we're going to drive it, um, I mean tow it, you're probably going to have to disconnect the tail shaft because... Roll it back up, it is a petrol, it's not a diesel. But we'll roll it back over, yep. at least try and get it down there and see what happens. That's the least of my problems at the moment. Right. Clearing the tracks the first and getting my car upright. So you want to go to that back wheel and try and roll it over with the wing? So the biggest, the biggest problem is going to be is it's going to, roll, it's going to run. When, they, when you roll it because it's on a hill, it will want to run. But if we pull onto its side, that's yeah. the only problem we got there is just the mess that it's... You know what I mean? Like you imagine what mess it's going to make. I'd roll it into the bush sideways there, and I reckon I'll just sit on its feet slowly, just in there. I reckon that will catch sort of it. Just, yeah. And we put its, unspool its front winch and at least use it as an anchor point so it doesn't run off, you know what I mean? Yep. So let's, because yeah, as soon as it comes up there, so it'll roll onto the bank like that, so that far corner will hit there. Yeah. That's, that's our real problem. Maybe we need to pull the front around first and then roll it. But then that might make it harder yeah, to roll. Won't, you won't roll it. I think it's actually on a pretty good angle to roll it over. Let's see what it does. And I'd hook to the front of that um, rear leaf spring, so you're sort of not in the middle of the car, but towards, yeah. you know, to a bit more towards the middle. And we'll just pull it over. I, the I, think, I think we need to put a, a retention rope on the back here so you can control the roll. You know what I mean? You put a lot, or use that big tree, yep. and all it does is you just control the roll. There's no other way we can do it. Oh, as you, you get this momentum happening, we won't. It'll just it'll just roll and destroy that car on its way down if it wants to. That's what I'm concerned about. I want to control the roll. I've seen it with when we up right bobcats on an angle, they just keep going. They go roll back onto their roof again. Yeah, well, what I got, you got the rear winch as well. Yeah. You could loose that off and then lock it into gear. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. So at least you've got control. Yeah, back to that tree. <laughs> got it. Anything else you can find in there? Grab that out, we'll have that. Soft shackle, another soft shackle. Grab that out, don't do that. Grab that out. Please stop raining. Just stop raining, give us a break. How's it feel under tension? Oh, it's fine, yeah. It's... As in lock. Oh, yeah. Yep, gotcha. Well, there's two of these. It's a better go... idea because we can control it. You can winch one in, I can let one out. Yeah. And you need that leverage from the side to roll it. Or we'll just be dragging it. Yeah, I know, you need leverage. Well, let's hook this up then. Yeah, I'm just going to crawl on. What if you went over the top of that tyre and hooked it around through the, the rim? The only thing with that is it just turns the tyre. Mm, it should just go... Is the handbrake on in there, Jess? I oh, <laughs> don't think so. Though. Go and put the handbrake on, mate. I'm serious. It's electric. Oh, is it? Oh, it's hard on the feet. Oh, oh, oh. You got the remote, haven't you, the other one? The back one, I do, yeah. OK, let's see what it feels like. Gonna make some noises. Oh yeah.
That's no load there. So it's resting there now. Get her upright, mate. Get that motor upright. Petrol okay. tank upright. Everything upright as quick as you can. No. I think she isn't pulling the last bit. Let me have a look here. Progress has halted. The camera D-Max is dragging forward under the heavy load. It's dragging the camera truck. Is it? Yeah. The Chevy is just too heavy. So we ram the D-Max into the bank. Guys, you you're gonna pop. Oh, keep it going. Don't stop. Simon, you're on channel. Have you got grip? Yeah, keep it going and don't stop or you're going to lose it. Just keep it going. Keep it going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. There we go. We got it. We got it, mate. Nice work. Oh, you're not going to like something, though. No. He's broken the aerial. Did you break the aerial? He broke the friggin' aerial. He does it every time. Oh my god. I might be able to replace this one. You know, he didn't break any windows, Jesse. What's with that? How good's that? No broken windows. I tell you what, if we can like let it settle for a while, let the oil go back down the bottom of the motor. We'll you drive this car out. You never know, it might go, eh? This car will drive out. It actually doesn't look that bad. That's what I said, it's a little buff out. Buff it out? Yeah, I'll buff it out. I reckon it'll buff out. Hey guys, I won't take up much of your time because I want to show you the fastest awning in the West. It's the Boss Quickie 2.5. Mate, and it is fast. I reckon it's one of the fastest awnings. It's new to the market. Great design. An absolute cracker of an awning. Easy to set up. The Boss Shadow 2.5 Quickie. Mate, it's got all the features that our awnings have. Otherwise, mate, get back to your video and keep watching. So I actually thought the windows popped, but it must have been the airbag that ha hit me. It's airbags, eh? Yeah. I just got to make a phone call. I've got to order a new Chevy. Put my order in now. Don't let me drive it. And the Starlink might be all right. No, we might be good. Is it OK? I think so. The Max Track saved it. Yeah, Max Track saved our Starlink. OK, so straighten wheels and try and make it move forward. I reckon I go down to the next log and we pull it off the embankment from down there. What do you reckon? Just, you know, you control it at the back. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, you got tension at the back, have you? We're going to ease the Chevy down off the bank, controlling it with the rear winch. Once down on the flat, it'll be safe to work on. We're down, we're on our feet. Well, it's still popped, which I found very surprising. Jammy jams. Oh, he cracked the windscreen too. He's done two windscreens. <laughs> Shut up, Simon. <laughs> Oh, where's my torch? It was in my side pocket. What are you doing with my torch, Jesse? It's on the dash, I can see it, look. Is it? You got stuff everywhere. A bit further. Man, you should take, you should do a bit of housekeeping in here. Will the Chevy go or won't the Chevy go? Right there. Oh, we got it. Look at you go, doggy. Nice work. Um, so, obviously, bit of uh, hydraulicking with the oil. Yeah. You could just touch the button just gently and see. You never know. I, I didn't do that. I'd push the ignition. I'd turn the ignition off and turn it back on again to try and release the wheels. And what but I didn't put my foot on the brake because I didn't want to try and start it. Gotcha. I didn't want to be that guy. Only a side airbag's gone off.
No! <laughs> you gotta be. That's unbelievable. You gotta be. Hey, Simon. That's unbelievable. Simon, eh? there's a big warning sign on the dash. There's a warning sign? Yeah, it says the hood's open. No! Jesse, shut the hood. Oh my God. Can you believe that just happened? Yeah, doggy. Yeah, man. Go the Chevy. Uh, steering is a. Yeah, you're good, mate. Oh, let's go. No, so um, let's disconnect that front um, winch for starters. Rear, disconnect the rear, and let's get down to the flat. What a drama! You haven't got like a concussion or anything? No, nah, no concussion. You're gonna be uh, right to play. Right to play. Yeah. Play. Get back in the game. I'm in the game, mate. He's never out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, this thing's got some safety, eh? Like well, that would have been that would have been the airbag exploding mm. and then stopping your head probably from I'm smashing it on the window. Yeah. Um, the front windscreen, all the windows. This a little bit of a crack on this side. You can see perfectly through. At the moment, we've got an engine running. There's no car in front of me. I'm going to drive it down to the bottom of the hill. Okay. Good plan. How is that truck still running? That is unbelievable. I didn't think that thing would be going. I thought we were in a real bad situation this far up the Kreb track. That thing on its back like that, oil coming out, and then it just starts. It's just crazy. I guess we could probably just stop it and check the oil. Um, is everything, the tyres are all clear, aren't they? Yeah, the tyres stayed on the rims, which is real unusual. See my sonny's in there. Sonny's are in the door. <laughs> what you don't do to a $300,000 car. <laughs> what was that? Tear out the airbags from the pocket knife. <laughs> we got the Chevy down to the bottom, upright, going, unbelievably. Cleaned it up a little bit, so it's looking a bit better than what it was. Um, so the ability to drive it out has improved drastically. Um, but there's still two vehicles up the top. Simon's up the top there now. I've got to get my the, the, the 300 down, but this is sitting in the shade. Behind me, this is starting to dry out, but this has been sitting in the shade and it's still slick as, eh? It's still slippery. The other option is to, um, control the, to control the descent with big long lengths of rope. Uh, we'll just, so what if we let you down first? Right. I'll get my 300 and lower it down. I don't know, I'm just, I, I'm just spitballing here, you know what I mean? If you get a couple of snatch straps even, you know, and join them together, you've got one, I've got one, there's, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40 metres, plus your, my winch rope. Yep. 40, there's 60 metres. And we just literally just drive like this. Yeah. And then, obviously, I'm not going to keep going, and you're just, you're going to end up at the bottom, and we disconnect in the way we go. Maybe does, yep, yep. Yeah. Plenty of room there, mate. Good girl. Right, mate, I'm gonna go steady and you'll just let me down, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. I'm a bit first low and just sort of sneaking. How's that feel? Yeah, brand new. I'm just letting you lower me, I'm not doing nothing. Yeah, it's just dragging me. Tell me if you go to stop or start to slide. Yeah. Jason's sort of driving into the bank a bit to get a bit of anchor. Going down! <laughs> Jason's just going down the bad bit now. You're on the point of no return. Dragging Jace a fair bit, Simon. Let me know when he's getting close to the edge. Stop, stop! Try to stop there, Simon. Oh, no, I've stopped. Can you reverse up? Yeah, I, you just literally, you just dragged me the whole way. 
Hurry up because I'm teetering on the edge of slipping over. Disconnected. Oh, no, I'm coming down. Disconnected. Coming down, ready or not. Now, I don't want to go up there where young Jess went. That's where I don't want to go. Up there, bad. Down here, good. No problems. Start clicking gears, clicking gears and getting on that gas, boy, get on that gas. Simon's down, Jace. No worries. Well, that worked, but Simon, uh, Jace was on a bit of a ride himself, getting pulled by Simon. You're lucky, like, you caught there, because yeah. if you got over this little bit, you might have lost it, eh? Oh, I would have been gone. I would have been, I would have been following Simon down the hill. Yeah. I think we got, we might just have to wait a bit longer, like seriously. I'm sorry, but it's just freaking me out, eh? Yeah, that's... That's tacky as now. Yeah, I know, but it's just, it's freaking me out. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> um, what time is it? Lunchtime. I might have some lunch and have a think about it. A dry out a whisker. If it starts to day. rain, you better jump in your car and get down there. Yeah, that's the other thing. All right, Jase, we're um, down here ready to spectate. Don't do what I did, although I am sussing out my exits in case it gets buck wild. Oh well, there's no way we're reversing this thing down and trying to winch back because we just don't have the length of anything. So I'm feeling a bit rattled from what Jesse had done and you know, so I'm sort of didn't run, not rushing into it. And that's that's what sort of, you know, the reason why I waited and hesitated as you, as you can probably expect. <laughs> don't want to ride off two cars. Um, so yeah, basically I've just got to use the, the gears rather than the brakes and try and get on the gas when it starts to slide and use, you know, that momentum so I've got steering rather than brakes and I've got no steering and just slide, so. Good work. Good work, mate. Yes! <laughs> oh, that was too much. Too much pressure, like I don't know why I got worked up, but you can see why. That was just way, 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 way too much pressure. Yeah, we're good. We made it. 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 Made it. Made it. Job, mate. I don't know about you, we're but we're almost the end of the track. <laughs> I've heard the stories of how hardcore this track is when there gets a bit of rain on it. And there you go. Right there, there you go. It lives up to it for sure. <laughs> Rightly so. If you're out here by yourself, that'd be the end of you. So I suggest that we probably just go and um, let's go and find a waterfall and clean up. What do you reckon, boys? Sounds yeah. like a plan, mate. Sounds good. Next time, we do a post-mortem on the Chevy. If I straighten the, the spotlights up, they'll be right. I did always want a stumpy aerial. There was a snorkel here, but it literally got squashed flat. I don't even know where the snorkel is. I, I think it disappeared. But that's all right. That, that'll buff out. And this snorkel, well, yeah, it doesn't look like it actually snorkels anymore. There we go, look at that. The door still opens, a little bit muddy. Oh, I think it, that's not good at all, that bit. I think it might have snapped off somewhere up the front there. All said and done, let's take her for a spin and see if we can find any other problems. Acceleration seems to be fine. Steering feels pretty good. Still sounds really good. Yeah, not sure the grass will ever be the same. Introducing the home of Australian adventure, Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of four-wheel driving, <laughs> fishing, touring, rebuilds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Hope the airbags take up. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show, All For Adventure. Get me out of here, boys. Water's coming in. Unleashed. Oh, that's tight. And more original series from Jason and the team. In this mini series, we're gonna be exploring some of the most remote coastlines. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. Snappers, mate, this is all going on down there, isn't You it? can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Yeah! That's why Unleashed TV oh, yeah. is the home of Australian adventure.
bag's not washing it. He got it. He smoked it. Oh yeah! 